Wait, who's this? Hey. Oh god. I didn't mean to... Are you hurt? Takes more than that one shot to bring me down. Sorry. I didn't even realize you were human until... Well... I guess I'm not much of a soldier. I'm here to help. Commander Shepard of the Alliance Frigate Normandy. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen. We don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony. The planet. There'll be a climate shift, mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. What if it lands in... That's the stupidest question I've ever heard. Well, let's ask it anyway. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. You don't have to run the numbers. If this thing hits... Even if it hits on the opposite side, opposite side of the planet from the colony, Everybody's going to die. It's just a matter of how long it takes. This doesn't make any sense. Batarians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. What does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. Well, Batarians um, aren't part of the Citadel, uh, spa aren't part of uh, Council space, so I don't think they need to adhere to uh, Council, uh, uh, to conventions. Most Batarians aren't genocidal madmen, but these ones are terrorists. Yeah, I know. It's just, this isn't how I expected the world to be when I rolled out of bed this morning. Shepard there making a value judgment about Batarians, despite the fact that these are the first Batarians we've met. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen, and where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes, no idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. That much is obvious. Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. Well, I guess then that's the guy we need to take out. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Braid. You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. I think we've already seen one of uh, his crew. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. I came across a member of your crew. He didn't make it. I... I see. Well... Maybe the other two are still out there. You never know. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. 
That or being held hostage by the Batarians. Well, we've uh, heard from Kate, so we know at least one of them is still uh, roaming free. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive? She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, th I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. Yeah, plus the Quarian ships have Quarians on them. No comment about that, Tali? By which I mean they don't have space to put humans on board. Um, also, this continues the line of stupid questions that <laughs> Shepard is asking here. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her... Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. Well, you'd better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you... Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard. Alright. Now we've got more uh, stuff. We've got the missing engineers. That was updated because we just spoke about them. And we have the blasting caps problem at one of the torches. Well, one torch down, two to go. Let's hope we can save these people. See that this torch is now disabled. Well, let's go and check out that survey station. It seems to be that there's an anomaly in between, though. The thing I saw before on top of the hill. Heading to position. I wonder who put a shack in such an inaccessible location. More metagel. And logs. This computer is filled with operation logs and personal journals for a small pirate music station operated by X-57's engineers. It includes scripts for several promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X-57, rocking this rock since 2182. Radio X-57, when your world seems hollow, we help you touch the sky. I guess that's uh, a reference to the original series Star Trek episode, um, For the World is Hollow and I Have Touched the Sky. Radio X-57, talk hard. And finally, Radio X-57, your last best hope for rock within 300,000 kilometers. Okay. Anything else? You notice an open text file, a personal journal of the station operator. It reads in part, Project director wants to shut us down, says our music is too extreme, that we're inciting the younger workers to riot and sleep with aliens. I asked him if he'd listened to us. He said he talked to someone who'd heard about us, uh, who'd heard about what we play. I think this is actually a deliberate jab at some of the complaints aimed at this game after it was released, because this game contains sex scenes, um, like the the one with the Asari consort. And based on that, some people complained about it, saying that it was a pornographic game and that it should be banned and whatever. And these people obviously never played the game because nothing is actually visible in those scenes. So they were basing it on hearsay only, and I think that's a reference to this. And that's all there is here. Radio controls. This is the uh, music from the 
elevators on the Citadel. I still say it sounds like the portal theme. Oh, you can shut it back off. Well, I think they were right to shut the station down. I mean, a radio station that broadcasts music. Freely. Um, let's check out the other survey station. See if we can find any more of these engineers. Same story as at the last one. It seems. Including the dead engineer. This body has severe burns and shows signs of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. Small mercy, I guess. This is Dr. Himes. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. They blew up the door, and Dr. Himes with it. Well, if we weren't already convinced that the Batarians needed to be stopped. Alright. Let's head to the next fusion torch. And this is the one that has the um, blasting caps that we need to get around are delineated by those markers, but of course also has turrets. Yeah, that's all nice and stuff. I'd rather deal with the turrets first. somewhere. Damn turret is hiding. Oh, there it is. No one there. I want to be able to uh, make as straight a line as possible to the door. Without well, having to worry about these blasting caps. You cannot make it in the Mako, don't even try. It's hard enough to do on foot as it is. You hear me? I'm getting all kinds of interference. Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. Let's see if I can fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing whatever. Let's save there. It's entirely possible that I won't make it. The first try. Enemy sighted. That's it. Bag of attack. Oh, yes. And there are actually enemies there. No! Ah. Failed! I told you I wasn't gonna make that the first time. Kill them all! Deal with these Batarians.
Whoa! Got another rocket guy around here somewhere. Try another grenade there. Does not appear to have worked. Oh, we did get him moving. Now he's dead. Now from here we can disable the blasting caps. Which means that going out we no longer have to worry about those things. And let's go inside and disable this fusion torch. And I'm guessing there will be more batarians to worry about. Oh, ah, uh, this one. Now it gets fun. Rockets. There are turrets here. A lot of them. Rocket drones. And they do not make things easier. But between the combined combat talents of our crew, we should be able to deal with them. Turns are moving around a lot. Easiest to deal with the drones, I mean. Easiest to deal with them when they're there. And new ones will also spawn one, every once in a while, I think. Making that extra annoying. One coming down here. Pointless. All targets down. Well, that wasn't too bad. Why did the quick s oh because there's another rocket drone that just came to life. That's the last of them. For real this time, it seems. Engineer's powers make those easier to deal with. They're fairly susceptible to overload. So if you're not an engineer yourself, Tali is definitely a good choice here. More stuff! Controls are upstairs, I guess, same as in the other one. Let's hope we'll be in time to shut all of these things off. The medical kit probably just contains Metagel, which I don't need. There's also a secure crate. Containing more stuff I don't need. There we go. Another torch control. 
Are you there? You've got to hurry. You really pissed them off. Their leader's setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there! Don't shoot, please! No! That's not good. Who's shutting down the torches? I won't ask you again. Find this problem and deal with it. I am Get out of here. I am not liking this guy. We're gonna take him down. Also, did you notice that beside the fact that they have four eyes, Batarians also appear to have like six nostrils? I do not want to stand in front of one when they sneeze. Well, at least with the blasting caps disabled, we can just run back to the Mako. Not having to worry about that. One more torch to, d to go. And then we'll see about finding that main facility. If we can help Kate and any other hostages he might have before he shoots any more of them. Also, I think the guy he shot was her brother. So this... Kate Bowman is one tough cookie if she didn't crack.